This is one of the crazier places I've ever been in my life. All astronomers, astrophotographers, taking advantage of these amazing dark skies out here. What an amazing place. See my ride. So what do you want to do today? Uh, I kind of want to go to LA. Can we do that? Go. I'm at the Griffith Observatory on the top of Hollywood Hills here. It's been here since 1935. There's a 12 inch Zeiss refractor, which is actually closed. The dome is closed today, so we can't get in there and look at the telescope. We can't even go in and look at it. There's been some rain today and lightning, so it's closed today, but still an amazing place to be. If you can see behind me, there's the Hollywood sign. <laughs> and then, the Pacific Ocean is over here with all of LA in the background. Just an incredible view from up here and a really gorgeous building, I might add. It is so beautiful, every aspect of it. So it's not just an old observatory sitting up here like a historic monument. There's actually a ton of astronomy-based things to do inside there. It's a really interactive experience and it's just so cool to be here. I've seen this observatory in so many movies and TV shows and I've ran around in Grand Theft Auto up here in the video games, but uh, to actually be here myself is a really surreal experience. Head to the remote observatories. Yeah? I mean, it would put us there probably about 4 o'clock. So do you want to explain where exactly we are right now? Yeah, we're in uh, Landers, California, and these are some of our observatories. This one here is the Pintax scope, but this is where we house a lot of the ones we do virtual star parties for and things like that. This is where we test a lot of new equipment as well, so that's the big 5100 sensor, that's why this one's here. We use them to test, and then we let other people use them to play out here in the middle of the desert. Yeah, it's about... Uh... 320 days a year that's well like that not like the rest on days like this it's kind of nice because clouds over los angeles clouds over coachella valley it'll get super dark out there's a cooper's hawk nice that lives up there they uh they killed a rabbit in my front yard and then, uh you know 30 seconds after that the rabbits were back out there they're like sucks to be him but <laughs> wow yeah. life moves on life moves on real quick around here <laughs> 
This is one of the crazier places I've ever been in my life. It's a collection of people out in the desert, all astronomers, astrophotographers, taking advantage of these amazing dark skies out here. And the landscape and the setting, I can only imagine what it's like to be out here on a new moon night that's clear. It's new moon this weekend, but uh, we might only get one or two hours of, of clear sky time tonight, but uh, I'm hoping to get a glimpse of what it's actually like to be out here in the desert. light blinking yep. so we're out here in the desert it was very hot during the day but it, I can feel the temperature dropping yes I feel like one of us is prepared for the cold weather tonight <laughs> and one of us isn't <laughs> and it's the Canadian <laughs> that's unprepared <laughs> it's getting cold out here it is it's not gonna be too cold it was 29 down here uh, last winter yeah you get snow right we got six inches of snow earlier in the year Wow you look prepared for tonight <laughs> <laughs> I try to be. Yeah. So you might be wondering who gets to take advantage of uh, this system behind me and these skies. It's uh, of course a remote observatory so people can log in from anywhere in the world and control this telescope. These observatories are here for outreach so anyone can take advantage of this system. This is still in beta testing right now but uh, it's going to get up and running soon and uh, the best way for you to take advantage of, of this opportunity is to join the OPT mailing list and uh, their newsletter and they'll inform you when this is up and running and you can actually have your chance of getting trained on how to use this equipment. It's really expensive gear. You need to know how to run it properly. Uh, but after that, you'll have chances to actually work with this little piece of heaven out here. So we're drinking more energy drinks again. And the caffeine has been the theme of this trip. Yeah, it's been years. sponsored by caffeine <laughs> yeah. and uh, extreme heart rates. <laughs> right. But it's so dark here that the Milky Way, I mean, it'll cast your shadow on the ground, you know? So there's no space in between the stars and you just see this dense cloud of Milky Way going overhead all night. It's, it's the most beautiful thing there is. I want to really see is. it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 